why Namdekanu was forcefully extradicted, imprisoned, and detained in DSS. Tunubu confessed exposed hidden truths. I know say them purposely do it in and do. And even they themselves too, they know what they do. They know what they do, but no long talk. I greet everybody when they listen to this very broadcast. This is today's news. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to broadcast to you this very day. It is a pleasure. Please um, don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Let's quickly go straight to the content. This is today's news. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namde Kanu, lead cancer Aloy Ejimako, has said the agitator is a victim of false imprisonment by the Nigerian government. Ejimako said it's unacceptable for the Nigerian government to imprison Kano over his ideas and thoughts. Posting on X, Ejimako wrote, In human relations, don't seek unnecessary attention and validation. Just do what you believe to be right. If you get a toxic reaction in return, be mature enough to not to take it personally. Be less reactive and hold on to your integrity and dignity above all pat yourself on the back reacting to this statement the president of the federal republic of nigeria bola ahmed Tunubu, has said that yes it is true because the arrested biafran leader named kanu was a real example of what was said he actually have the peer friends at heart. He wants everyone to be okay, just like him. He never suffered, not just a bit. He has the heart of human and love. He left his pleasure, his goodies and family to fight for the safe ones. He wanted his brothers to be comfortable. He paid a huge price, a price which life alone can offer. Bola Metro said, This was unfortunate. The words the country is even against. They fought him, arrested him, and got him detained. It's quite a disappointment, but this is against the rule of a nation. You cannot fight a nation. Treasonable felony is a big crime, and that is what he committed. Tunubu, having spoken on this, has pleaded that Nigerians must understand that if such a crime is committed, it is committed against the nation and not human. So you are fighting the nation and not human. The case of Namde Kanu is a case of the nation and so must be ready to reconcile with the nation before it can be free. Thank you for listening to today's news. Um, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, you have said your own part. But the truth in this very issue is that even the nation that they are talking about have declared him not guilty and should be acquitted. So what else is still keeping him in prison? The same nation you are talking about right now has accepted the fact that Namdekano is innocent. Accepted that fact that Namdekano truly, truly is not guilty. And even you of all people, you equally said it, that it what the action it took was for the good of mankind. 
You see that? Someone who paid a huge price. So I'm just I'm just short of it anyway, but I just know of something. And that thing is that very soon, very, very soon, um, the, the freedom of Namdi Kano will be declared. And all those who have been making life difficult for him in prison will begin to pay. And they will pay with their own life. Because they have really really gone far to see him get eliminated but they kept failing they kept failing okay um let's quickly hear from you on this and then let's know what your take and what your opinions about this actually is don't forget to leave down below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get